Hello guys, welcome to the game of Light the Fellowship of Flux published by Com to Us. Alright, I am here today to show you guys on the result of my summon after I am going to summon about 30 scrolls today. So previously I have summoned 55 scrolls but the result is out of luck. So I'm guessing that I can't really do a massive summon because usually massive summon doesn't work for me. Alright, so as usual, my habit is before I start summoning, I would like to attach something in my video, some explanation into my video. Alright, since about the recent patch. So let's talk about the new heroes. Let me comment about the new heroes. Alright, let's go to the book. Okay, fire. Let's start with the fire new heroes. Alright, as you can see, I have gotten Huarion in the last summon she is one of the three summon that i get in the 55 scrolls all right warion so let's see the sixth grade and the max level a melee type so as usual as you can see the stat of the melee type is they have balanced physical and magic defense all right a moderate hp and of course they have their attack okay Invincible Fighter Huarion Okay, let's see about her skills Okay, active skills 380% physical damage that ignores target physical defense with the lowest physical defense Okay, as you can see, this attack is aimed usually at, for the enemy at the back line Okay, this is a good skill in arena Okay, it is aimed to execute enemy at the back line but of course if I am to compare her with patient patient is definitely have a better skill set to attack the enemy at the back line because patient skills that attack enemy in the back line is in his auto skill okay the next skill the first auto skill blow all right I have no comment on this skill okay if the team does not have Zammer, then this is a good skill, but most of the team have Zammer and I don't think she will have, she will have a chance to use this skill. Okay, recovery skill, very direct, and remove all harmful effects. Okay, somehow this will be good in red, if she is low in HP. Which in red, she will be low in HP during certain times. And life. Alright, this skill, for me I will say that this skill is very great in red because it will inflict, not to mention about the additional physical damage, but it will inflict 1% of enemy max HP with basic attack whenever it crits. So as we are seeing in this passive skill, you will definitely build Huarion with high attacks and sorry, with high criticals with high critical first and next with some attack but definitely she will need HP all heroes will need HP in order to survive alright Quaron's attack speed will be increased by 15% this is a bonus to her alright overall Quaron is a great hero in raid okay she I will say that she focus in raid more than arena okay of course you can you can opt to build her in arena but I feel that she is a key hero in red because usually a hero that is optimized in red is very hard to build her to be optimized in arena okay you want to focus on one content rather than two content okay all right overall i'm seeing at this skill because this skill is very great in red okay except kraken because kraken is a water type and she is a fire attributed type so it's not really a good idea to go against the attribute in a red because it will be definitely a, a very pain situation. Alright, let's move on to the next hero. Okay, Araf, the handsome noble Araf. Alright, a level 60 form, 6 star. Alright, the first skill. Alright, before I forget to mention about his stat all right as you can see his stat is similar to Huarion because he is a melee type as well okay active skill stat 
380% physical damage that ignores fibrillation to a random enemy. Alright, because it is very random, so we do not know who he will attack. So I have no comment on this skill. But 380% is the number is quite high. Alright, shining sword. 320% physical damage to enemy with highest attack powers and nearby enemy and nearby enemies. Okay, and additionally you blinds the target. Okay, not to mention the blind, but the skill that's attack enemy with highest attack power. Okay. I will tell you that usually the highest attack power is the enemy standing at the back. Usually. Okay, because usually enemy standing in the front, most players you have to build some HP. Otherwise they will die easily. Alright, this is aimed to the enemies at the back. The second auto skill. Wow, the skill name Shi. 330% physical damage to the enemy with highest magic power. Alright, and again this skill is definitely aimed at the, at the enemy at the back. And the enemies nearby as well. Up to 3 enemies. And silence the target. Oh, overall I think that this hero is very good in arena. Okay, not to mention about the immunity buff by Zema. Okay, usually when Rev execute his second auto skill, since he's a melee type, usually the 5 second immunity buff of Zema will be gone when Rev is using his second auto skill. Alright, as you can see. Alright, as you can see. When Rev is using his second auto skill usually the first auto skill will be aiming for the person at the back and next auto skill will be aiming to the person at the back as well so this this hero is very devastating in attacking the enemies at the back for arena all right this one is a chance so i will have no comment on it all right and in and additionally, his passive increase his attack power by 15%. Okay, if you can give him some good runes, okay, with a combination of HP and high attacks, this hero is gonna be a devastating hero with high attack powers aiming to attack enemies at the back. Alright, and combined with patience. I feel that this hero is going to shine in arena. Okay, next hero. Hmm, I'll go to Earth first before I talk about the net 5 new hero. Alright, Earth hero Gore. Okay. Oops. A 6 star and a level 60 form. Alright, a range type hero. Okay, as you can see, a range type hero has a lower HP but not as low as a mesh type okay has higher magic defense compared to physical defense all right with a lower attack compared to a melee type all right now let's see his skills all right this guy is quite cute actually okay active skill 260% physical damage to all enemies and pushes the target back all right this is actually a good skill in arena because usually when gore uses his active skills zammer's immunity buff will be gone okay raw 280 percent physical damage to a random enemy all right i will not be commenting on these skills in arena because most likely you will be blocked by zammer's immunity buff 230% physical damage to all enemies and stuns the target with 50% chance alright it's a chance whenever the hero skills talk about chance I don't really like it because I don't trust on the RNG because the 50% for me sometimes not not sometimes but most likely it will not work alright and additionally not to mention that Gore is a rage type hero so when, when Gore uses his second auto skill, most likely Zammer's immunity buff will still be there. So most likely, we will not be able to stun the enemy in arena. 
alright, because of Zemmer and Zemmer again. I don't know why I like to comment about Zemmer. Alright, joke. Alright, let's chance of that. No further comment on this. Fast. Alright, the attack speed increased by 10%. Alright, actually, if I want to have a chance to land this auto skill, I hope that Gauss don't attack so fast. But you see, his passive is asking him to attack more fast. And he'll be using his second auto skill even faster. Alright, so Zemmer's immunity buff will definitely be there. Alright, so now let's go to the net 5 hero. Alright, the net 5 hero, Tiat. Alright, the 6 star level 60 form. Alright, as you can see here, the mesh type hero. They have very high attack capability, which is very high magic power. Alright, a lower HP. Not a lower one, but actually the lowest among all classes. But they have the highest magic defense. Alright, so now let's see. Active skills. Dark energy. 290% magic damage and install a bomb to all enemies. Alright. And the bomb will inflict 200% magic power. Now this is a very high magic attack power damage. Okay. And it is the active skill. Which means that most probably Zammer's immunity buff will not be there unless Zammer activates it. Energy attack. 260% magic damage to 3 enemies. Alright, I have no comment on this skill because once again, when Tiat uses his first auto skill, Zammer immunity buff is there. Alright, again, 260% magic damage to 3 enemies with blue fire and burns a target. Alright, most likely when Tiat uses his second auto skills, Zammer's immunity buff duration will be gone. So this is a good damaging skill because it inflicts burns. Alright. So the passive is freezes the target for 3 seconds with a 25% chance for basic attack. Hmm, it's a bonus. Dragon's Breath. Alright, this is a good passive skill. Okay, it will increase the acquired energy amount which enables your heroes to use the, the active skills much faster than the opposing team. Alright, so overall I have done with the comments on the new heroes. Okay, actually overall I favor the most and I like the most on the new heroes is actually this girl, Warion, and also Arev. In Arena, I feel that he is going to be very useful. Alright, especially when comboed with Peishan, but I haven't gotten him. Alright, I hope that I will get him soon. Alright, so now without further delay, let us move on to the summon. Alright, random shop. Is it a scroll for me? No, there is no scroll. Alright, so since that, as you can see, previously I have stored 55 scrolls. Okay, I have collected, I have kept 55 scrolls buying from the, buying using arena point. Okay, buying using my gems. Okay, and in the end, it doesn't give me luck. Alright, I have a belief that whenever we store scrolls for a long time, usually it will not give a good result. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to buy immediately and summon after that. Alright, so I can buy two pack here. Okay. Okay. Next pack. Alright. Okay. Let me go to the inbox to collect first. Usually when I collect in the inbox, the luck will be much better. Rather than going to the Temple of Pharaoh to summon directly. As you guys notice, if you click to summon directly, usually they will not send the scrolls to your inbox. They will directly send it to your inventory and it will go to the temple of hero to summon all right let's see 30 hero scrolls okay this time i'm going to summon everything slowly and steadily because i feel that you'll give me a better luck so guys sorry for summoning slowly but please bear with me for a while all right come on lightning please and a divana hmm lily Okay, no comment on Lady. Reina. 
Alright, a 3 star hero, no comment. Come on, Lightning, Divana, come on, Divana, please. Vincent. Okay, Vincent. Vincent overall, I have not much comment on it because I have never really used him. And I can say that if I were to find some place for him to use, he is more useful in arena compared to other content. But in the arena, we know that the best tanker in the game now is Zemma. Okay, no comment. One lightning there. Hopefully, more to come. Earth Elemental. Alright, Earth Elemental. Actually, I'm not sure it's a she or he. Okay, he or she has one of the good skill sets to be used in raid. Because these Earth Elementals can heal and increase the physical defense. Alright, at the same time, it can remove the harmful effect. Alright, I don't want to mention this skill. Most likely, it's focused on these two skills. Alright, passive and you know, passive skills are the bonus for Earth Elemental. Come on, next lightning. Alright, Turtle is a food. Oh my god, not a Turtle again. Okay, it's a fusion material. Alright, Ian. Recently, Ian was buffed. Okay, but I have not have a chance to use him because it's not easy to six star a hero actually. So I have not come to use him yet. Because overall, fire tanker, I feel that Bella is a more better hero. Come on, lightning, please. Shina. Alright, Shina. Before she was nerfed, she is actually a good hero. But now, I don't think, I don't think it's a good idea to six star her. Okay, use her as a fusion material. Come on, lightning please. I have been a good boy. Oh my god, not China again. Enzai, a fusion material. Come on, Divana or RF. Demon Priest, no comment. Come on. Oh my god, Toto again. Yeah, come on. You know what I want? Aushara, alright. Thank god you give me Aushara because I want to max my Aushara skills. Alright, Aushara is actually one of the hero that I like the most because First of all, it is one of the counter to Zemmer's team. Why I say that? Alright, so let's see. Where is the skill? Alright, this auto skill, slow clock. Alright, okay. One thing to note is Zemmer's first auto skill will give two buff. One is immunity and second is physical defense. So, it will remove one of the beneficial effect. But I'm not sure whether he will remove the immunity or physical defense they are random but if I set sorry but if I set Aushara to use to be the first to use the first active skills okay when attacking of course during defense we cannot set it anyway all right means that Aushara will use this skill twice but unfortunately Aushara uses in the skills execution in the active skill execution Aushara will use this skill the last Okay, but this is one of the hero that I like to use the most because he is useful in every content of the game. Alright, as you can see, all of his skills. Okay, all of his skills are providing a very good support to the party. Alright, especially his skills. Aushara is the only hero with the skill to decrease the skill cooldown. Alright, next. Next lightning please. Terumph. Terumph is a good stunner. Okay.
Demon Priest. No comment. Lightning, please. Alright, not tear off again, please. Give me a net 5, come on. Divana, please. Armored Soldier, no comment. Earth Elemental, I have commented just now. There are actually pretty much good heroes out there, but it's just that it will take some time for me to make those heroes to 6 star and give them some boons to actually test it out. Because whenever I experience using that hero, then I can really comment on it compared to the heroes that I never used before because I just comment based on based on their skill sets. Floria. Alright, actually Floria is also one of the good supporting hero. Okay, because one thing is she has a short cooldown time heal. If you notice Helen Husamo, Helen and some healing heroes they actually have a long cooldown time in their healing skills which in red we can't have we can't have long cooldown time because the boss is keep damaging keep damaging and keep damaging yeah i remember who is another person that has six star but with a long cooldown time is carmen carmen and helen nina no comment but i think she's a good attacker Come on, 5 more. Elaine, no comment. Come on. No comment on this evil ghost archer. Come on, one more lightning. Or give me 3 more lightning from here. Alright, so... Alright, let's do some trick in changing the channel. Okay, oh my god. I can't change the channel. It's okay because I'm actually using using a. I'm actually pairing it to pairing the game to my PC. Okay. Come on, Nasco! Please give me lightning, Cecil. Lightning please. Oh no. So overall as you guys can see here I have summoned 30 scrolls with 2 lightning. Alright, if I were to summon 55 scroll like last time maybe it will give me one more lightning. So I think my luck is pretty bad nowadays. Mm -hmm. Alright, but it's okay because I got an Aushara. Okay. Aushara. Okay, I'm going to feed it to my Aushara to increase its frequenting levels. Where is another fossa that I got? Alright, Vincent. Most probably Vincent is going to sit in my inventory. Alright, so out of my three summons I got a useful a useful hero that I can use to increase the capability of my team, which is Oshara. Okay, I'm going to get the fourth slot. Okay, most likely I'm going to choose to increase the hero's HP. Because this Aushara when I put Aushara in my team, the one that I afraid the most is actually Velro in the opposing team. Because Velro will definitely pull my Aushara and kill my Aushara. So I think I'm going to do some thing on his physical defense. Alright? So that I will increase his physical defense. So that he will not be targeted. Okay? But I'm going to think something about the physical defense on who to set to be the lowest all right because as you can see Aushara first skill that's furthest away okay because usually when I put my heroes the enemy the my ally that is standing the furthest away is a supporter which is Aushara all right I can afford to put my attacker as the one that is furthest away because Peishan and Velrope will be aiming at the person standing the furthest away okay which if I put my TPS to be the furthest away then 
my team will be lacking in DPS. Alright, so on other heroes, I will find some other time when I do summon again and I will comment again at the same time. Alright, because sorry guys, bear with me because I like I usually like to comment on something when I summon. Okay, and usually I don't do long videos. So I hope that this video is not too long and not too short. Alright, so thank you guys for watching and see ya.